Good morning. It is 6.50 a.m. Much too early to be up. Well, actually it's Monday, so I guess it's not that early, but it's early and I have to pack because I forgot to do that. So I'm gonna pack up and then I'm gonna head to the rental car place, pick up a rental, and then I am hopefully gonna be on my way on the road at about 10 a.m. So yeah, we looking a little rough, but that's okay. Can't wait to have this adventure on the road. It is rainy, it's kind of gross out, but it's okay, it'll be fun. So, we made it to the car from getting all of the stuff out of my house, cage, luggage, like this is the part where being single is it's ghetto and I know I keep looking over here because that's where the screen is so I'm gonna look right here but like I'm tired and I'm hot like it's rainy and cold outside and I'm literally sweating the edges out but it's okay we about to we're fully gassed up ready to hit the road Marley you ready to hit the road you ready to go bye bye she's ready to go bye bye okay so we're gonna hit the road um See you guys in Gatlinburg. Wow, it's so beautiful. Oh my God. This is low key scary, but it's actually pretty live. This is crazy. All right, Bear, you're not about to scare me though. I'm gonna let me get down. So cute, not gonna lie. A little scary. A little bit, but it's okay. This is part of the adventure. Marley, you okay, Bubba? Come on. Let's see. This. Oh my God. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Let's go back in. Come on, let's go see her. Well, hello. So cool. So cool. Definitely taking a bath in there. Make sure I know people in here. Gotta make sure there's nobody that's hiding in the closet. All right. Make sure there's nobody under the bed. Okay. Let's go up here. Another beautiful view. Little swing. Breath taking so 
honesty hour, real talk. It's beautiful, but I'm terrified. I'm terrified. It's very secluded, but I think when you're handling an adventure, you should be a little scared. So I think I'm gonna be okay. Let's stay tuned. First stop, something corny. Ripley's Believe It or Not. So, I mean, this stuff is corny, but you know, it's something to do. I feel like when you're doing like solo travel, you just gotta do all sorts of random shit until your day's filled up. And I would do this like normally, so it's pretty cool. This would be so much more fun if it wasn't cold and rainy. This is ghetto. You know, it'd be more fun if I had a little tender, a little tenderoni, but I don't. So, it is what it is. Hmm. So, Cherokee Grill, y'all. They got brunch, but it ain't like Copa's though. <laughs> If you know, you know. So I decided to go to dinner by myself, which is fine. So I'm at the steakhouse. But you know, if you're going solo travel, hunting, do it big. Or don't do it at all. So I did get a booth by myself, only because everybody is sitting at the bar with a couple and I didn't really want to talk. If it was more single, like individual people or even like a group of people, I would have sat down. But you know, so far the experience has been different. I'm enjoying it, but having to get over the stuff is a shock. from by far the scariest drive, let me get back in this lighting, the scariest drive of my life. <sighs> Literally the scariest drive of my life, driving up to this cabin. It, it's, it hits totally different when it's dark and I'm not gonna say I'm regretting it, but I'm like, okay, let me take a little chill because it's a lot, but for now, Good morning. It is about 8 a.m. I'm just waking up from my first night spending the night pretty much at the top of a mountain. Last night was rough. Last night was really rough. I did have a moment where I kind of cried simply because the drive up here at nighttime was totally different than the drive during the daytime. Because it's been raining here, the roads were completely fogged up driving up to the cabin. So driving up here, there's kind of like drop-offs on either side where there's no guardrails and I couldn't really see very well. So it was so much anxiety from the day and from driving and from being by myself and just all these different emotions that it just kind of culminated with me crying. So. You know, solo travel, I think that I've kind of pushed to the most extreme version of solo travel for me personally. Like, I'm not about to be spending the night in like a cave or nothing solo travel. But for me, this was a really big step. And I feel like if I can conquer this, I can conquer anything. So I'm proud of myself. I'm going to stick it out for the second day and the second night. Even though my mom's like, you need to bring your ass home. I'm like, girl, I'm going to do it. I mean, emotions right now, right now they're peaceful. When I show y'all this view and how crazy it looks in the morning, 
the, the emotions are peaceful. I'm gonna try to capture tonight. If I drive back tonight, I might Uber from, I'm going to a dinner show. I may try to capture just how scary the drive back is. I mean, the drive up here is at night, but I don't know. I've definitely learned a lot about myself. I definitely tested myself. I've definitely went through a lot of emotions with myself. And I thank God for FaceTime. I thank God for people who have talked to me while I've been up here because this was a challenge. This has been a challenge. This has been a big challenge, really big. All right, so on top of the fear of traveling alone that I'm overcoming, I'm gonna try to conquer a fear of heights. So I'm actually going to go ahead and ride this up the mountain. Listen, Hunty, she's scared, that's it. So I made it up to the top and it was definitely scary, but I'm really not looking forward to going back down. But you know what, being up here, it just made me realize you have to try things, you have to do things, you have to experience things. And nine times out of 10, they're not as bad as you think. Hey, that video did not do that justice. That thing. was high as hell. It was very high. It was very, very high. And you know, when you going up, I'm like, Psh, this is nothing. It's easy. Going back down, going back down. My soul came out of my body and they came back and left and they came back and I got on the ground and then they came back and I was cool. But, mm -mm. nope, not again. I'm tripping, I almost forgot about y'all. I know this lighting is terrible because it's super dreary out. Um, oop, missed my turn. I am on my way to the Pirates Voyage Dinner Show? I think that's what it's called, the Pirates Voyage Dinner. Woo, 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 woo. Almost lost the camera. Almost started shaking the table. All right, so I'm on my way to the Pirates dinner show. Um, this is something that I signed up for before I left the Natty, because I'm like, I gotta find something to fill my time. Today has been awesome, super adventurous. I feel way better today than I did the first day. The first day and first night, I think, just hit me really, 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 really hard. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. I don't think that you can film in there, but I'm going to anyway, so. They'll be all right. I'm gonna film, I'm gonna let you guys know how I was. I'm gonna film as much as I can. Um, so yeah, that'll be it.
my camera is gonna fog up quick because I'm in the hot tub. Um, it's my last morning on my solo adventure and I'm proud of myself. I'm very proud of myself. First night was really, really rocky. Last night wasn't bad at all. It wasn't bad at all. Um, I feel like I've overcome a lot of fears venturing out not only in a, in a location that's kind of scary, but just venturing out outside of my normal environment to be by myself, to have to entertain myself, to have to be with myself without distraction. So I would definitely say that this was a needed trip and it's something that I can mark off my bucket list as something that I overcame. So I'm actually going to pack up and head back home. Thank you for watching if you made it through. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for everything. Thank you. This is my view from the cabin this morning, from the jacuzzi this morning, and it is amazing. I don't wanna drop my camera in the water, but it's great. So, with that being said, once again, thank you guys. I'm gonna head home. All right, see you later.